this is Connie and welcome back to another get ready with me I guess um, I just had a lot of errands to run this week so I thought I would do get ready with me before I go um, today I'm meeting with uh, uh, Voke, Voke Rehab lady at my job service they help people with disabilities get jobs that suit them um, and my depression qualifies me so um, I'm meeting with her gonna fill out the application and stuff like that she told me yesterday that one of the steps is I have to meet with a psychologist and that they pay for which is kind of wonderful I think you know although it's hard for me face to face talking about myself you know what I mean? I mean, I can write it down. I can tell you exactly how I'm feeling, stuff like that. But I, if you and I were face-to-face, -face, I'd have a hard time talking about it. Um, and then I have to go to my old job, and I applied for food stamps yesterday. And one of the things is I have to take uh, one for each place I work, the Longhorn and One-Eyed Jacks, the casino. I have to take um, sheets in and have my old boss fill them out because they could have sent them to him, but I don't think that he would fill them out. He's just that kind of guy. So I'm going to go and sit there while he fills them out and make sure he does it because this is my deal. I have to have food in this house and I have no money to buy any. So I need food stamps right now until I can get a job. So, or whatever you know um so anyway um i wanted to tell you i'm gonna wear today i've already got my my spackle on and i already have got my concealer and corrector on and what i've been using and tell me if i'm wrong i have been using you can tell because my because i put it on with my fingers this one and this one tell me which ones i'm supposed to use for my dark spots I always thought it was the salmon color, those two. So tell me which ones. See, I put some under my eyes. I put some on each of my spots, which it doesn't conceal them as far as I'm concerned. Um, what am I doing wrong? Or what do I need to do? So, and I've got, I've noticed I have got a couple age spots coming in. Um, and I did cover those in couple of them are gone these here are still there but um, tell me what to use what to how to how to use this I've never used a color corrector before so you know those of you that know please help me out there okay all right so what I'm going to use today is the infallible pro matte I used yesterday I used the pro glow and I loved it I love this stuff it goes on so easy. It looks so natural on your skin. It, um, I, you don't even know you have it on after you have it on. So I'm going to try the Pro Glow again today. I've only worn each of these a couple of times, so I'm going to try to use these a lot more often because I really enjoy them. So let's see. Yesterday the one was quite um, liquidy. This one you don't hear at all. So it's a lot thicker, you can tell. So let's kind of squeeze that bottle around a little bit. All right. A little bit of this on. The color I'm using is... One O Two Shell Beige, which I don't know why... I, I can't remember if I got this... Um, if somebody gave this to me or if I bought it. I can't imagine that I would buy Shell Beige. Because I'm not a beige colored person. I'm very fair, so. So somebody must have given this to me.
this does not go on quite as nice as the Pro Glow one does. Just a little bit on for my forehead. Nobody ever sees my forehead because I have my bangs, but. All right. See, look at there. What the heck do I do about that? that those spots on my cheeks just drive brows, me nuts. I'm using my Pacifica Stunning Brows Eyebrow Gloss and Set um, in Golden Brown. Got a very large. So that's really all I have to do today is go see the vocal rehab lady and talk to, again, talk to my unemployment guy because um, we didn't finish yesterday. He just said we'd do it today when I'm in there. He's helping me look to see what jobs there are and stuff like that. This is very light. Um, which is fine. I don't mind this color at all. But it just seems like there's not a lot of tra product transfer. There. But that color, that color kind of suits me, I think. I don't mind this color at all. Okay, so my Ulta Eye Primer, still working on it, but it is getting a lot closer towards the top now, so. And if you guys didn't see, I put some on my finger and then I rub my fingers together. All right, for eyeshadow today, I chose the um, Makeup Revolution Stripped and Bare Palette. Just got the same old cover that, you know, they all do. Most of them do. And this is the palette. And today, I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Um, use one of these top ones for my base, I know. I think, I'm thinking I'm going to use the middle one today since I, I mean, I know that that's kind of purpley and I've got kind of red on, but I'm thinking that's what, or maybe I'll use the, maybe I'll use the first one. I don't know yet. Let's, let's just go and see what go, what's going on. And uh, the brush I'm using is the Carity brush. I really like these a lot. All right. Uh, I'm going to go into the middle top one. That's kind of a more pinky beige color. I'm really starting to get quite a collection of Makeup Revolution. Of course, it's going to be a while before I spend any money. But, um, I really can't. I like Makeup Revolution stuff, and they're just so affordable. Okay. Shut your mouth, Connie. I tend to do that a lot. 
have my mouth wide open when I'm doing stuff. Anybody remember feeding their kids and uh, when they'd open their mouth, you'd open yours? I always used to catch myself doing that. See, some of these colors you have to go in a few times to build them up, but they look nice once they're built. cleaning off my brushes in between every time. Okay, so... Going in with kind of this pinky rose gold color which is kind of what I did yesterday too, but um, since I'm going, you know, on, uh, you know, just regular errands and stuff, and I have meetings and that. I don't want to go too bold. I just realized I didn't pick out a lipstick. Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. All right. So I'll go back in on... go back in one more time with that color. All right. So what I used was, I went in with this as my base. Then I went in with um, this color here. It's kind of a rosy brown for my uh, transition, and then I use this one on my lid. kind of like the pinks and the roses and those colors. I know, I know my makeup looks, you know, a lot of times look the same, but that's the colors that um, interest me. When, once one of these days I will be doing a more out there color for you so when I'm not going anywhere because I, I just can't do it I just can't okay I'm using my uh, Bobbi Brown it's about done mascara it is pretty darn dry Still gets the job done, but it's dry. My eyes, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, but my eyes are very red today because tears have been running down my cheeks all morning. That's something else I need to speak to the doctor about what he recommends for me because my eyes water so bad with allergies and you know you'd think that it's worse for me in the spring but I think the spring and the fall are pretty much I mean I, my allergies bother me all year long Okay, for my blush today, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Coralina. So pretty. I have not used 
these blushes in a while. I need to use some of my stuff up, I'll tell you. I need to do a maybe a project pan or something for 2017. I don't have anything that is even close to being done for, um, you know, that I could finish by the end of the year. But if I started at the beginning of the year on a few things and wanted to use them up in a year, um, what do project pans usually do? I mean, how long do they usually go on for? I don't even know. Okay. I have got a hair that just is driving me nuts. So for my highlighter, I'm going to use my e.l.f. highlighter in and my darn magnifying glasses in the other room, so I can't tell you what this even is. It's so tiny. Let's see if that'll clear up. Come on. There we go. like this. Or is that upside down? I can't tell. Anyway. I don't know where the rest of my magnifying things even are. I've got a ton of them and I don't know where any of them are. All right, for my lipstick today, I am using my Bite Beauty that I got in my red tin last year for Christmas. I want the one for this year so bad. It's got the Amuse Bouche um, lipsticks in it this year, four of them. Um, I absolutely love these. The, although the Amuse Bouche are um, mini sizes, which... These would be mini size too, you know. This is what mainly is in them. So they're mini too. But I like the the part that goes on your lips much better on the uh, Amuse Bouche ones. Isn't that beautiful? This is, let me look. If I can read it, I don't know. Oh God, no. All right, guys, that is my get ready with me today. I um, am running a little ahead today, actually. I've got um, probably about half an hour before I even have to leave. So I'm going to just do a few things around here. But isn't that print lipstick beautiful? That is my favorite shade in the, the four that I got. Two are very dark. One's like a red, one's like a wine, one's more of a nude, and then this one's more of a pinky, a pink, um, with a little mauve in it maybe, rosy color, so pretty, I really like it, I like it with my look today. Alright guys, I will talk to you later, I will let you guys know on Facebook or whatever, um, how things go, if she, you know, she has to get my my papers are all of my medical records and all that kind of stuff too so and I'm going to the doctor on Friday um, I need to I need to talk to him about my allergies about my depression my depression mainly but um, I'll talk to you guys later bye bye